okay now we have properties of the logarithms okay let us have properties of logarithms the first one is suppose you have log base a x y okay two number two terms two numbers that is x and y x into y this we can write in this form log x plus log y and base as a log x y base a is equal to log x base a plus log y base a look here x into y we can writing this okay writing we can also write this in this form log x plus log y product now what about the second one second one is log base a this is a multiply form no? not division form x by y how to write this if in the if it is in the product form you have to write the plus sign if it is in the um, if, if it is in the divide form you have to write log x minus log y okay base is base should be same here a means same base if the base are not same we can't write base should be same if the question comes like this you can convert in this form if the question come like this you can convert in this form either form the third one log 1 if you have the value of log 1 if base is any number a means any number it can be 2 3 any number 10 anything if 1 is there log 1 the value of log 1 is always 0 ok the value of log 1 is always 0 the third one then the next fourth one a to the power log base a n will be equal to what about this a log a n this a log a becomes 1 ok this becomes 1 so the answer is n are you getting a log a n a log a is nothing but we can keep it as 1 1 into n is n so this we can also write as n now we have fifth one that is log a ok log a x to the power n which we this one we have used in the uh, previous question log x to the power n base a this log we can write as this uh, this x to the power n this n we can shift here n log x base a this n we can shift this side okay both are equal that means both these are equal here x to the power n n we can write like this n into log x base a these are the properties which we have which we are going to apply in the next problems the next one is log x a to the power m suppose if the base is having the power n that power where, where to write the power this x to the power n this n we are writing simply as n we are shifting here and writing n here what about this base to the power m this base to the power m we can write as 1 by m okay from here we are shifting and we can write a 1 by m log a log base a x log x base a 1 by m hope you have find the differences between this x to the power n simply we have to write n a to the power m we can write as 1 by m the next we have log a and base a if base and this if the answer this both are same you will get the answer 1 don't get confused log 1 is 0 having any base always the value of log 1 is 0 log a base if both are same you will get the value as 
1 that this are, so these are the properties we will apply in the next problems now we will do some problems of logarithms using the properties the question is determine the value of the following determine the value of the following first one is log 5 base 25 okay determine the value determine the value means you, you have to solve this and get the value of this logarithm so what we will do let us take let x is equals to log 25 log 5 base 25 how to do this look base is 25 25 we can factorize we can factorize 25 as 5 5 is a 25 5 ones are 5 25 we can write as 5 square so this we can write as log 5 square and this 5 we can write right now uh, I have given you one property that is if the base is having the exponent that exponent we can write as 1 by 2 let us use this that is log a to the power m if I write x here or n n or x anything we can do so this we can convert as 1 by m log a okay this m we can also write as 1 by m so this 2 I can write as 1 by 2 log 5 and base 5 right then what is the next one log 5 base 5 same here this is 5 and this is 5 that becomes 1 that is another law another property log a base a is nothing but 1 so 1 by 2 into 1 1 by 2 ones are 1 is 1 by 2 so answer is 1 by 2 log 5 base 25 the answer is 1 by 2 so using this using this properties we got the value as 1 by 2 log log 3 base 81 how to do this 81 we can factorize that is 3 to the 6 we will get 2 3 7 the 21 3 9 the 27 3 3 the 9 3 1 the 3 81 we can write as 3 to the power 4 that is log 3 to the power 4 and this 3 this is base right so same thing what we have done in the previous question that this power 4 we can write as 1 by 4 log 3 and base 3 that is 1 by 4 into 1 3 and 3 log 3 base 3 we will get 1 1 by 4 1 is 1 by 4 is the answer the value of this is 1 by 4 right that we can take as x something like x is equal to 1 by 4 let x is equals to okay so we can write that is the value of x is 1 by 4 okay now what about the problems like this that is third one log okay log root x and base x what is root x what will be the exponent of root x this is square root 2 is here okay square root 2 is invisible we don't write here see we are not writing 2 here but 2 is there because it is a square root so uh, square root x we can also write as x to the power 1 by 2 so this one uh, determine the value so what we are doing let x is equals to 
log x log root x base x log x root x we can write as x to the power 1 by 2 now 1 by 2 we will shift here using the property what is the property that is log a power m n is equal to power we are getting is here na? n so we will get log n to the power small n base a we can write as n log n base a you can also use as x any variable you can use here just to, to understand the property i am using this n here so n we can write so 1 by 2 1 by 2 because exponent is 1 by 2 only so 1 by 2 log x base x if this is x and this is also x you will get this answer as 1 1 by 2 into 1 1 by 2 1s are 1 by 2 so the value of this is 1 by 2 okay now we have another problem fourth one i think that is log same determine the value of log 2 by 3 8 by 27 so how to solve this to get the value of x log 8 by 27 base 2 by 3 that means what we have to do 2 by 3 we, we can't do anything it is like that only 8 by 27 we can factorize if you factorize 8 2 to the 4 uh, 2 4 is 8 and 2 to the 4 2 1 is 2 8 we can write as 2 to the power 3 and 27 we can write as that is 3 9 is 27 3 3 is 9 and 3 1 is 3 27 simply we can write as 3 to the power 3 here uh, 8 we can write as 2 power 3 and 27 we can write as 2, 3 power 3 log 2 by 3 that is 2 8 is 2 power 3 and 27 is 3 power 3 look and then okay let x equals to so x will be log 2 by 3 2 by 3 whole to the power 3 okay if powers are same we can take it as common that is a law law of exponent 3 we can shift here 3 log 2 by 3 2 by 3 and base 2 by 3 see here base and this these are same exact same so this become this log becomes 1 3 ones are 3 so the value of this log 8 by 27 base 2 by 3 is 3 okay that is the answer okay now we have the question write the following expressions as log n and find their values let's have this okay this is the question the expression will be given to you that expression you have to solve and write in the form of log n and you have to find the values also if it is possible to find we can find the values the first one is log 2 plus log 5 log 2 plus log 5 how to write this to write in the form of log n means that you have to use the properties and get these values so log a plus log b what is the base here suppose if base is not given that means you have to understood that the base is 10 so what property we can use here see plus sign is given that means log a plus log b or else you can take log x plus log y is equal to log x into y this is the property uh, uh, I have given to you right log x plus log y is nothing but log x into y what is the base if base is not given that means you can you have to take here base as 10 suppose if it is a you have to take base as a here so this is 2 x is 2 here and y is 5 here that means log 2 plus log 5 we can write as log 2 into 5 why we are writing like this because this is the property of logarithms so log 2 plus log 5 
we can write as log 2 into 5 2 5 is a 10 base is not given so what the base we can take as 10 you have to understood the base is 10 2 5 is a 10 so base is not given you have to put 10 so what will be the base here we are taking it as 10 here because you have to you also have to get the values also so log 10 base 2 is 1 base is same now here this is and this is same this is the property we have log a base a is nothing but 1 right so that property we are using here log 10 base 10 is 1 so the value of this uh, expression is nothing but 1 so this is the first answer now we have the next question that is second one of the same question we have that is uh, 3 log 3 log 4 base 64 this you have to write in the log and form and you have to get the value of this what we can do here to get the value what we are doing you have to write let x is equals to it is not given but you have to take let x equals to 3 log 4 and base is 64 so what we have to do here because 64 is there base 64 we can factorize that is look here since 4 is here uh, we will factorize this to get 4 only 4 1 the 4 4 6 the 24 2 is the remainder no 4 1 the 4 2 is left here so now it becomes 24 4 6 the 24 then 4 4 the 16 4 1 the 4 we can also factorize this number by 2 but we don't need 2 here since 4 is there we want 4 here 64 we can write as 4 to the power 3 so this we can write as 3 log 64 we can write as 4 to the power 3 and this 4 we can write ok now what is the next thing I have given you one property that property is log a power m x is nothing but this we can write as if the power of the base is there this m we have to write as 1 by m log x base a this property we will apply over here 3 is already there 3 you have to write as it is these 3 we are shifting to this side and writing in the form of 1 by m that is 3 into 1 by 3 log 4 and base 4 3 and 3 get cancelled log 4 base 4 is 1 we are getting one answer what about log 4 base 4 if this is same if this and this are same means you have one answer that is also one more property now log a base a is 1 so 1 1 the 1 answer the value of this logarithm expression is nothing but 1 ok hope you have understood this ok now we have the next question log 10 log 10 plus 2 log 3 minus log 2 this is the question we are having now how to do this first you have to these are the three terms one term two and three there are three terms these three terms you have to write in the form of log n you have to make it one term then after that you, if you are if it is possible try to get their values log 10 simply we can write plus 2 log 3 this we can uh, here we can apply the property that is m log x this we can write as log x to the power m isn't it this power m we can write here this is the property we will apply here so this 2 will come here log 3 this 2 we can write here 3 square minus log 2 after that you can see here you are having plus sign and minus sign also so that properties also we can use log x y we have to write as log x plus log y 
then log x by y we can write as log x minus log y you can see here plus is there so these we have to write plus means we have to write in this form okay then minus minus we will do later then because this is plus sign we can write as log 10 into 3 square okay if plus sign is there that uh, this log these terms x and y you have to multiply and you have to write common log only one log 10 into 3 square minus log 2 log 3 square is 3 3 is a 9 9 10 is a 90 minus log 2 okay now we can convert this in log 90 minus log 2 we can convert in this form log x minus log y we can write as log x by y so log what is x here 90 and what is y here 2 so this is 90 by 2 log 90 by 2 is 2 1s are 2 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10 if you cancel this this get cancelled by 2 2 1s are 2 2 4s are 8 1 is the remainder 2 5s are 10 45 log 45 is the answer if you want you can get the value of this as in the in some decimal form like uh, so you are having a table of logarithms using that table you can find the value or else if you don't know you can stop the answer at, at log 45 only so the value of log 45 is 1.65321 and what will be the base using base 10 you will get this value okay so this is the answer for today's class we will stop here we will continue in the next section